Two familiar oh. legends actually from last set. We're seeing a bold bar versus a Rayma. Oh, all right. So yeah, we got the uh, the crossover though. Um, it is going to be uh, the Dalsum crossover. So you know, instead of seeing those uh the the the, the hand come out and it's not connected, you're gonna see them stretch the arms come out and a couple of yoga fires as well. But uh, before we you know even get to that point, we gotta get some damage on. I don't think anybody's gonna be going out these sigs randomly. At least I hope not. Uh oh, ground pound, the ground pound going to be connecting, holding it just in case Lopez decides to land on top of him. Very nice option and uh, qu quite a large call out. Lopez might want to be a little bit more uh, wary of landing on top of M Tranquilo if, uh, I mean, he, he already ga gains that little bit of information on, on his playstyle here. Okay. Gonna make it back to the stage right there. Doesn't matter though, doesn't make it back too long as it is going to be the uh, the side air to go ahead and take him out for 10, uh, 10 kilo. Looking good uh, as far as getting that first stock for Lopez. And I wanna try to turn this one around as quick as possible. Getting scooped up, oh, too high on the GC. Edge guarding here, waiting for any opportunity for a D-Light. He goes for the D-Light, but it's way too late. Van was already around you at that point. Now he finds himself as the one offstage. Goes for the dare, massive amounts of recovery frames, and the D-Light recovery is going to close out the stock here for Van Tranquilo. As Lopez is able to pick up that true combo, sticking to the hammer now. Van Tranquilo is able to pick up an axe. We're right back to basically even, as I say that, able to pick up a true combo though. Make that a second one, no follow-up, but uh, uh, he's kind of dominating right now. Mm-hmm. Van Tranquilo. All right, finally gets back to the floor. Yeah, they're, just, they're playing some, uh, some pretty intense, some pretty good neutral right here being played until right there. Vim Tankilo with a double tap. Just needs a, doesn't even need to get on there. Actually, he just did enough, pushed him way too far away from the stage. That was a very low uh, sayer. And from that angle that it sends, yeah, you had would have had to have like all your resources and a way better recovery than what he was uh, able to use. Damn, okay. Ooh. Oh, the GCD light pivot nair, no follow up coming out of it, trying to stay a little safe here. I mean, you're against the sword, you're afraid of those, uh, you're afraid of those wake ups, especially as we saw last game. The GCD light can be used really well. Um, Lopez definitely no stranger to how to play some really good sword. Able to push him off with a Sair. He needs to get this knockout quickly if he wants to have a fighting chance here in this first game. I mean, if Vem gets just a couple more attacks, this could be GG. Unarmed recovery comes out. Tries to get that weapon. Nice weapon start from Lopez though. He's on the hammer. Missing the opportunity for a knockout. There. There it is finally. All right. Vim Tanquilo. Losing that uh, that second stock, but he's already done so much damage here to Lopez. Oh, yeah. And finished the game. Didn't even have, get a chance to say, you know, Lopez could potentially make a comeback. He was not going to make that happen. 565 to 378 damage. Yeah, Lopez is just getting absolutely ran around. Uh, ran over in that uh, that first game. Definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see the, uh, the the development of this game. We saw, of course, so, some moments of enlightenment coming out from Lopez uh, on the bold bar. Uh, Vem Tranquilo, a lot of his success was from callouts. I mean, we saw that we saw that ground pound on stage in the very beginning. We saw the double sair, which got a you know fairly fairly early knockout, and also in the second stock he got the. Like, three four true combos straight on lopez without lopez able to find any kind of answer so uh, if he's just able to get in there get into the field get that stage control trade some hits he's definitely still uh he's definitely still to be considered here anyone's game but after this game this game is going to be very telling of, of of the rest of the set mm -hmm. all right so that uh, you know, that being said, we're our, as you said, we are into our second game, and I think. All right, okay. Bro, like you're styling, okay. you're styling. All right. I mean, uh, I said, I said it would be telling of the rest of the set. I, I mean, I'm gonna give Lopez. You still have a chance. Uh, you, you at your first strike. I'll say that three strikes and you're out. Okay. Well, Vim is playing. Uh, he's playing like a whole other beast right now. Yeah. The, he's playing the really, really, really the well. Dalsim. You know, crossover here, really showing up. But I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't really feel like there's anything that I can, like, specifically call that I'm like, uh, this is why he's winning. But I can tell you that uh, the reason why Lopez is not, man, my man can't play no offense. He has not been able to get anything going. It's been very obvious with this 
attack uh, pattern uh, as well. And Vim is being able to dance around him. And, like, his movement is just, like, way higher, if, if, if anything. Or ends up getting himself uh, very lucky, I will say, uh, neutral light there at the edge. But he doesn't take too much damage on that second stock yet. But I still would say that Vim is kind of in full control of this match. I mean, Vem is just kind of disrespecting his neutral, right? I mean, Lopez playstyle, uh, as you mentioned with his offense, uh, tiptoeing around the opponent is incredibly effective if your opponent is also tiptoeing. Vem is not tiptoeing. He's going in there with a GC side light. He's going in there with a double stare. Going in there with an immediate end light punish. The weapon throw, weapon pick up into side sig. He is not showing any any signs of tiptoeing around. He is swinging uh, on both of his weapons. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. Finds him uh, and puts him back to the other side of the stage. Oh, oh! The reversal with the with the unarmed recovery, Lopez. That sword recovery, I don't even feel like that sword recovery was that bad. Like, th th that that should have been the confirm, but Vem doing a really good job at just tightly outspacing it, but not out, not, not outspacing it so hard that you can't still go for a, for an unarmed recovery. Very nice play. All right, so Vem now, he is definitely uh, still in the lead, but I will say that Lopez uh, put way more of a fight up in the second half of this match than that first part. Oh Back. yeah, oh yeah. See yeah, that we're, quick... We're pretty much even, hold on. Yeah, I mean, after that quick encounter he got, tries to fit, uh, we tried to finish it up with a DC as well. That one didn't connect, but I mean, we go back onto center stage and... Uh, He's winning the neutral encounters at this point. He's pushed him off stage. GC side C comes out. Oh, recovery is going to hit him instead. He used to get a weapon. Not rushing for that weapon. That's what Vem wanted. If he immediately ran to that weapon, that GC d would have caught him and it would have been the knockout. Doesn't matter. He's able to get it at a later point either way. 2-0. Yeah, bro. My man, absolutely. Uh, absolutely was able to run away with that game yet again, but it was looking much... Uh, better for lopez i think lopez whatever energy he brought in the middle half uh, middle part of that game he's to bring at the very beginning and uh and yeah. really capitalize because clearly he, he he is able to play he's able to like run hands he's able to make big plays uh but it just feels like uh, again all together vim tanquilo has just been you know he, he has been he has been the the player of this this set so far yeah, I mean, the, the, the first stock was, was very different compared to the other two. Uh, the first stock where uh, I mentioned he was on his first strike, I can tell you he didn't pick up any more strikes after that point. So uh, I, I, if something clicked in Lopez, and as you mentioned, he's able to bring out that same level of energy, uh, then uh, I mean, uh, some more games are possible here. If, if Vem is able to get that adaption just a little bit quicker, then I, I, I fear I, I fear for this to, to be a to be a 3-0. Lopez still definitely got this stuff. Okay. Chop. Oh. Recovery catching him off guard. Goes off stage. Goes immediately back onto it with that axe recovery. Nice call out option. The Lopez did not have the time to react for the Sayer. Beautifully placed. Uh, it was on the other side of the stage. So the GCD Sig. And he's just going to fall right into it. He was in that lag from the Sayer. I mean, even if he didn't throw out that Sayer, I mean, he had. He had a severe lack of options. He, there was not many points on the wall that he could have gone to. Yeah. All right. And so even even so, though, like, as I'm saying, you know, we've been seeing this fight develop where I definitely feel as though it is possible. You know, it is possible for Lopez at least get a game on the board, but this is not one of the... Uh, we're not in that position yet where I feel oh. like that's one of the things. He really go, went for it all. He thought he was going to make the, the play of the year. Uh, but unfortunately, just puts himself in a bad spot. And on this stage with these small blast sounds, yeah, getting anywhere too close to those. Already in the red, too. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, okay, but I mean, up. at that point, you're already in the red, so you might as well go for a commitment like that. I mean, yep. potentially, if, if anything, a little bit of conditioning. You mentioned it earlier. Whenever Lopez is struggling with that offense, you know, Vem Tankville, he, he, he pulls out ahead. If you're able to get him a little bit scared, you got him right where you want him. Okay. Go back, nice. Now Vim. Scooped up. Yeah, Vim is uh 
he, he's kind of struggling to do something on this second stock. He actually might lose his first. Ooh. Okay. okay. Like the idea of the weapon toss, you know, got him way low. I thought he was going to maybe try to capitalize, you know, force him to go low. Then that, that way you cut off uh, how much you, I mean, the options you have to look for. But was it? Oh, okay. GC neutral. And I, yeah, don't know about that one. He went a little overzealous with that attempt at the down air. Puts himself right in a position just to get a uh, side air. And it was out of his recovery. So he was gone. Yeah, very nice here coming out from Lopez. As uh, you mentioned, having a little bit of a harder time here in the second stock. He's able to close out that one fairly quickly, though. Let's see if he has any better luck here on his last. As Lopez is moving now to his tournament stock here, potentially tournament stock. He pushes him off with a Sare, though. Uh, already has a slight damage lead. I mean, I'm looking at a pair of Gauntlets, though. That damage lead could mean a little if he's able to get a dodge read. But to get a dodge read, you need to win neutral first. And Lopez is kind of dominating that area of the game right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Finally gives himself a hit, but it's really just... All right. Hold up, though. This could be the start. Lopez just go ahead and leave the stage. That was a very good usage of the uh, side air to get over. Instead of, uh, you know, didn't have a dodge, so he just had to use some type of movement to stall himself. Okay, the swap up. This is a lot of damage he was able to add up. In fact, it, okay. oh, that was the ground pound. No, it was so close. Little pixels away from getting it, but Lopez is not getting hit by it. Staying, staying competent and staying uh, composed. He's gonna get the delight there as well, closing it out. He puts himself on the scoreboard. Wow, I was holding my breath for that last encounter. Okay, this was a, uh, that was. That was a crazy one because, yeah, like the idea, if he had just got like a little more momentum forward with that, uh, with that ground pound, like game was over. Like he definitely hit that and we were out of here. So, but, uh, luckily oh, for Lopez, too. he was not far enough. But yeah, all right, go, we're going to keep that going. Lopez starting to kind of figure it out. He's able to get himself a game, but keep it on the same stage as well, though. Going to the same stage. Best OST in the game, in my diet. I always turn up the music whenever on this map. When I heard this map at CEO, I got goosebumps. It is, it's pretty good. Pretty good OST. I, I'm still I'm still a big fan of the Miami Dome Miami because it's like one of the more high, uh, like upbeat maps. But as far as like that Brawlhalla feel, yeah, this one goes crazy. All okay. right, oh, and uh, yeah, some epic music fit for two epic players. I mean, so far. Game for Lopez with the chance of taking this all the way to a game five. And uh, I mean, you, you, you mentioned it like, uh, what is that, one and a half games ago, if Lopez is able to carry that same level of energy where we said potentially something clicked, looks like something may have actually clicked. Oh, okay. It was too low to try to go for the uh, the side air, but that definitely would have been that stock. How wow, far off my man was off the stage. Uh, so instead, it's had to go for the side light. Probably going to try to set up that same situation again. He's looking for a down uh, down air now, too. Hope these could be options I think to take. However, that. Oh! Oh! Can we do another weapon toss? No, didn't try to go for it again. Now he's actually trying to finish it with his own uh, with his own hands. Trying to get a down air in there. Oh, no punish off of the recovery. Sare, what a nice option from Venba. Lopez is not going into it. He's starting to figure out the, the, the patterns of, of, of attacks that Vem has uh, the Vem is using. He's used uh, a call out Sare toward the inner side of the stage with the axe, like, I don't know, three times in the set so far. And Lopez, he's starting to pick up on these small habits. Him. Get him out of here. You got to go. Now, I think, uh, you know, it's been kind of crazy to see, like, the, what? What was that? <laughs> Went for the ground pound as well. The full send off stage. The, the, oh, the double ground pound. They can't go anywhere. You can't touch the wall. The third one. Okay, no, that's just clean. That's just clean. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. The first was one was perfectly stuck. placed. The second one was a call out, and then the third one was also perfectly placed. Yeah, that was very good uh, from Lopez. I mean, gotta give it up for him trying to even get that uh, recovery, though. That was a very good use of the GC uh, to, to get back, but it just didn't matter. Like, he was already, you're already gone. Now, he, now he's trying to put himself, or he's trying to make a big play. And he kind of has to, but I, the, every time he's going out here trying to make these big plays now, he's just get, taking more and more damage. Lopez really activated in this last half of the set. Uh oh, that, that oh, GC oh. side light, the GC side light on the, on the sword was kind of disgusting as well. But Vem, 
Kind of popping off on the axe for a moment there, and I mean, you can never count this out. We've seen we've seen axe break leads much larger than this one, especially. I mean, already in this set, Vem, we've seen him hit multiple true combos in a row, and he's starting to get he, he he's getting started here. Bro's moving, bro's dancing. Nice. Right, he's trying to get himself, trying to get back onto the stage. And he's, again, always kind of getting closed out, having a hard time doing such. Yeah, it's sky high on that one. Huh? Okay. Really starting to get some heavy hitters here. Oh, oh no. the, the, the stomps here, though. The GC side he comes out, but Lopez is able to get past it. Stomps here. That's going to be game. Yeah, he, he believed a lot uh, in, in that side stick for sure, but nah, no one no one there to be uh, slid on. So now, game five situation. Lopez with the full-on turnaround. Those first two games looked uh, very rough. But these last two games, my boy has been playing some Brawlhalla for sure. They're definitely playing some Brawlhalla. Going in to game five here. What a fitting way to close here out here. Our final, uh, our, our final game. Final set, not only for top eight, not only for for um, this set, but but also for, for, for this stream. It's going to be a nail biter. Uh, and it's been a complete reversal so far. The potential for the reverse 3 0. Damn. Let's go as we, uh, you know, put, like are, are at the very end of this set and the very end of this block. Last game of uh, the. Of the entire block, but it's just been it's been interesting to see how this thing has turned around. I mean, it definitely felt like a Vim Tanquilo uh, instant W. And it, it, uh, Lopez is just so slowly but surely you know, dialed in to the point where, like, if there was a chance to see him oh. get a three stock, he'll be right here right now. But got some good damage on Vim Tanquilo. Okay, keeping him off the stage. Tries to go for yet another. It works out though. Can he get the stomp? Yes, he oh. can. <laughs> What a nice weapon throw, Vem Tanquilo, completely unfazed, staying patient. He went around that weapon throw to go for the GC DLI recovery. Super well played off station counter from him, and he's gonna pick up that initial lead, well deserving. Okay. Oh boy, he's swinging right now. Okay, Jesus. okay. <laughs> The DC as well charges up the ground pound. No, again, Lopez. I mean, sometimes th these tricks th they start getting old. Lopez is not getting hit by those ground pounds like it was in the first and second game. Mm hmm. However, it does seem like uh, Vimpy Kilo has been able to find like a new bag of tricks because the damage is racking up on Lopez. He still has not got this first stock off and he's already down to his last. Vim Tanquilo says, wait a minute, this set's getting a little too close for me. Let me go ahead and end it right now. Gets the hammer, or gets the uh, axe involved uh, as well in that combo. Swapping over. Oh. Oh, oh, and that gets him off stage as well, as he's now trying to go for the edge guard, getting a little bit impatient though. We saw two D light whiffs, and Lopez is just unable to get back up at this point. I mean, he's just pushing buttons. He's running towards Lopez. This is starting to look like the first game. Lopez, he's getting suffocated. He's absolutely getting suffocated. Try to get himself uh, a, another D light, maybe a uh, stare there, but he has only gotten one, and it hit across the stage. Needs to find another one. Yo, the neutral uh, sig in the middle of the state, bro. It, it, it might be done. It might be done. It's oh, over. It's, done. it's, it's done. over. It's done. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Domination. Thank you, announcer, because that's exactly what that was. 532 to 157. Was bro even there? <laughs> This was off of the potential for a reverse 3-0. Lopez won two games in a row. Two games straight. And then Vam Tranquilo hit him with this.